everyone. Um, I was thinking a little bit of a different video today. It's more about the uh, controller. If you have a problem with uh, the L3 button, when you go to press it down and run in the game, it won't let you run. It, there's a problem with one of the pieces inside the L3 button. I have a spare controller here. It's already been opened, as you can see. Um, I'm just going to remove these two. Stick them here. So the tools you're going to need are small tools that you can get. A pair of tweezers if you uh, have a pair. Simple. You're definitely going to need a screw to get those screws off. And you're going to need a very, very small, very small flathead screwdriver. That was very hard to see, but <laughs> it'll do. If you can get smaller, like, I mean, pin, pinhead size like that, that'd be great. Alright, so to start off with, we're just going to stick these ones down here. We're going to start off with opening the controller. Everyone knows how to open the controller. Let's take off the charger piece. Grab the screws. We're just going to unscrew it. Alright, so there we go, we've got all the screws out. Let's put them in a safe place, let's put them in the box that we uh, started off with. I'm just going to stick them in here. As you can see, I've got spare screws in there flying about. And that's from this controller here. <laughs> And what we're going to be looking for inside this controller is this thing here, right here. So this uh, little piece moves around, which allows you to you know move about. All right, very bad uh, camera quality. Sorry, but it'll do for now. We're just going to pull this out. Let's see if we can have a look. All right. Okay. And get this out. Nice and safe. There you go. So that's one thing you're going to see. It's this wire. This one's fucked. So I don't give a fuck. That can go over that. And you this. Just like so. You have to leave this. We're just going to knock that out. It will be attached to this thing, unfortunately. You can't take it out like this. But this one's fucked, so it comes out. But this, these wires here, these wires right there, it's alright. There you go. Will be attached. I'm trying to find it. There. That's where they'll be attached. Right there and right over here. Alright, so what we're going to be looking for is these little green bits on this here. Three, hold on. Right here. Um, so if it's a run, so it's probably most likely going to be this one right here. This is the one you're going to be looking out for. And as you can see, if I can get a nice close up, it's a bit shadowy, sorry. So, right here, there's a little lip you can get it at. If you can just stick the screw in there and be careful with it, you should be able to knob it out. I'm going to grab my smaller one. I'm going to actually go find the one that I have not used yet, which is going to be this one over here. This is my spare. Just going to stick it in and pop it out. There we go. So now we've got this. And here, this little white thing. I'm just going to grab it, poke it out, and grab it. This is where you might need the tweezers. Grab it very carefully, try not to break it. There we go. This is the little bit. 
I'm going to be putting into my white controller. I'm going to stick that over there. And we're going to get ourselves into this controller. So previously we've taken out the four screws. Uh, there's a little bit on the controller here which allows you to stick your reasonably sized flathead screwdriver into the little slot there. Just want to lift it up. There we go. Pops open. Just want to grab this side and you want to grab this side. Try and weasel it out. There we go. There we go. Controller is out. You do want to be careful because you want to try and take it out without taking these buttons out with it. And then you're attached. You've got this wire. This wire here. You're just going to pull that out. Sorry, I'm dropping my shit. Grab the tweezers if you want to. Just pull it out. Alright, so there we go. As you see, this one's a bit fucked as well, but it, it works, it works. It looks fine. So we've got the back piece off. We're just going to stick this one down here for now. Uh, out the way. You. <laughs> and right, so we're greeted with this right here, the battery. Like I said before. So we're just going to nobble this bit out here. So that's this little white piece. Just going to take the battery out. Make sure you keep it separate to the other one. If you have got another one, that's a spare. Uh, just keep this down here with your other tools. And like I said before, you're going to grab a nice flathead screwdriver. I'm going to grab a slightly large one here. What we're going to do, put all those screws in there. Spare pieces. Just going to take a screw, just pop it underneath this, lift that up. We're going to stick it on this side. You don't want to be too rough with it. You should hear a, there we go, a pop. There we go, so we've got that bit out. We stick this down here with the other, with the other battery, the other one that came from this controller. And we are now muted with a screw right here. It's hard to see, but it is. Come on, camera, focus. Right there. So we're just gonna stick our screwdriver in, undo it. I'm gonna grab that screw. Make sure it's all the way out before you were trying to yank it out, which I just did. So there we go. We've got the screw. Dirty little screw. Do not lose this screw, that is a very hard screw to replace. <laughs> all these screws are. And we're going to stick it back in here. With all these other ones. I know it's the, I know which one it is, because it's grey. Uh, yours may be the same colour, so please try and keep it separate. Um, usually it's flat, very flat head. Those ones are, these ones on the back are normally a little bit curved, a little bit rounded. But it shouldn't make too much of a difference. So now here we go, we've got the actual controller. If you want to grab it by these two pieces here, you just want to... Oh, hold on, I have forgotten something actually. I've forgotten something. There is a tiny... Tiny bit... Right here. We're going to have to pull this out. There's a little lock, so there's a little black thing. You want to flip it over. Then you're going to want to... Grab it with the tweezers. And just pull that out. Simples. Done. And now you may pull it out. You may grab it by the. Um, this is going to sound dirty here, but vibrators. There you go. So there is your main piece. Um, be careful not to tip this because you have your button here, you have your button here, and then you have these, and then you have this, and you have your touchpad here, which just slips out by running underneath. Um, just please keep it like that if you can. You also have your PS button right there. So we're just going to stick this down here with the other half. And here we go, here we are. Here is the controller. Um, so flip it over, figure out which side you needed to get replaced. 
if it's your run button and it's going to be this one here, right here and you're going to want to take off your buttons oh, sorry and what we're going to do here we're just going to zoom back out and zoom in on one we're going to get the whole table there we go Lovely. so this is our spare one over here um, this is the piece that we're going to be sticking in Alright, so you want to be very careful with this, this time. Very careful, because that was a despair. I didn't care about that one. You're going to flip this over, and what you're going to do is grab it very tightly with the left hand, and you're going to grab your right hand, the bottom and the top, and just flip it over, like so. As you can see, I've already dislocated the, well, not dislocated, but taken out by accident the red wire, I do need to get that fixed and also on the other side I've accidentally taken out the black wire so I do need to get that fixed, I know someone who can fix that for me so yeah um, so when you flipped it over it should have a controller it looks very much like this one and so if it's your run button just imagine you are holding it and you flipped it over Simple as. It's going to be your left button, so it means it's going to be on your right. And it's going to be this one on the right here that you're going to want to replace. Let's grab your extra small piece, and you're just going to stick it in the top here. There's a tiny little lip. Push it in a little bit. Push out. Push in. Pull out. And you can go to the sides. There you go. Should be open. Takes a little bit of force to get out, but don't try and absolutely force it out. Because you may break it. You should be able to just open it up, and there you go, voila. So as you can see, as you can see, I'm going to do back in again, unfortunately. As you can see right here, we have our white bit. I'm going to take this out, put that over there. We're going to pick up our other one, our new one, or spare one. Alright, so there's two little points at the bottom, as you can see, right here and here. They're going to go towards the bottom of it, here, alright, so you're going to grab the tweezer. And what you're going to do is not what I just did, and drop the fucking thing. Get a nice tight grip, slot it in there, and then you're just going to press it in. Just hear that click. As soon as you've got it in, it will try and escape again, however. So be careful, make sure you've got it completely right, turn it if you need to, Too off my face is getting in the way, well, I need to be able to see what I'm doing, make sure it's completely right, and then close it back up, if it doesn't close, you may want to check a second time, just in case. Voila! It is damn closed again. It's a pain in the ass to do, but it's definitely worth it. Um, whoa, so, we're going to have to put this back together again. Put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Let's stick this one, the old one, back into the old controller. Right, so now we've done that, We've got this bit. We've got this 
bit right here. We're going to flip it back around. Make sure you flip it back the right way around. And there we go. So we've got this back. Uh, what you're going to need to do is grab these bits back. Let's take them on. You're going to want to grab your back piece right here. And you're going to want to stick it on. Like so. But make sure that this wire right here does come out and is over the top. And you're going to press it in place. And there you go. So I recommend you grab this piece right here, stick it in. Better to do it with tweezers, but I've done this so many times it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, there we go. So we've got that piece back in. If you hold it down and then flip it over, hold it down and flip it over. Hey, we've got a new controller. So they still move around. That's cool. Let me stick this back down here. We're going to go back into our box, find that very important screw, which is right here because it's silver. Excuse me. We're going to grab this tweezer. We're going to stick it in its slot right here. Make sure everything's pressed down properly. Make sure that is all connected again. Definitely make sure this is connected. You're going to grab your screwdriver and you're just going to screw it back in. Make sure you do it tight, but not too tight because you want to be able to still use the fucking thing. <laughs> right, next, you're going to grab this piece, and there should be like a slot here and here for you to put your um, piece into. So that follows as up here. We have right here the slot, and right here the slot. All right. So we're going to want to stick it not that way around. We want to make it so there. There you go. It sticks straight in. It should go click. We're in place. And then you can grab your battery. Just stick it in. Push that button in. And this is one thing that people get wrong all the time. And as you can see, you can get these silver pieces right here. Or gold pieces, depending on what your flat piece is. There you go. And they're going to go towards this way. So if you have your silver piece or gold piece, you're going to slip it in this little, this little bit here. The silver way is going to go that way. Okay, it's going to be, it's going to be on this side, not that side. This side. Just make sure that is right. And grab it. Yeah. Ooh, not gonna do that. That's tell you what. You're gonna stick it in. There we go. And then, if you wish to stick it back back in, unless you want to play your game like this, then feel free. You're gonna want to stick your front end on first and then come back and push it together and there you go there's your controller back together there is your controller ready to be used and I will see you in a second because I'm going to put these screws back in which is a pain in the freaking ass to do So I thought this would be a little bit of a different video, it might help you out. Um, if you want anything more like this, like say how to fix your touchpad, why is it not connecting, why is it not working, um, my controller won't charge, what's wrong with it, 
anything like that, just leave a comment down below and I will try and figure out what your problem is with your controller and I'll try and uh, make a video on it and show you how to fix it without having to take it to a shop or buying a new one. There you go, there's your L3 button fixed. If that didn't fix your controller, then try the top one, not the one on the side. Um, I'll try and find a website where they sell those pieces for the L3 and R3 buttons. Um, and I'll link it down in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.